ballet bar etiquette. I'm gonna go over all of the things that we teach our young dancers the very first day we get them up and dancing at the bar. Ballet bar etiquette is super important for a number of reasons. First and most importantly is because it prevents people from getting hurt. It makes sure that you work both sides evenly. It's also, it's our protocol as ballet dancers, as a tradition and as a practicality. So here we go. Never hang or lean on the bar. When you're in ballet class, stand like a dancer all the time, ready to go before the music starts playing. Standing like a dancer means you stand tall and long. Your shoulders are down, you feel like your neck is long, your abdominals are engaged, you feel your feet flat on the floor as your head is lifting off of your shoulders. And if you need to get to the other side of the bar, never go underneath, always walk around. When you're standing next to the bar, you don't want to be too close or too far away. Does this look comfortable? Oh, no. How about this? You want to find that happy medium where you can do your port de bras and you can put your hand gently on the bar so that your arm feels comfortable. It's going to be a little bit in front of you, comfortable. When your hand is on the bar, you definitely don't want to grip the bar. Should you grip the bar really a lot? No. No, you have to rest your hand gently on the bar. Rest your hand gently, just like that. If your knuckles are all white and red, not good. Rest your hand gently on the bar. When your hand is resting on the bar, it's going to be below your shoulder. What happens a lot is when kids first get into the ballet class and they first start to work at the bar, they reach that top bar and they grab onto it. Not correct. It's got to be below the shoulder. When you're dancing at the bar, you're always going to have an outside leg and an inside leg. It's obvious, right? Whichever leg is closest to the bar is inside, and the leg farthest away from the bar is the outside leg. It's like the bar is a house, and this leg goes inside the house, and then this leg goes outside the house. In the woods. And then the leg goes out into the yard. And if you keep going, you go to the neighbor's house. And you go inside the neighbor's house. Now, when you're doing third, fourth, and fifth position at the bar, any position that's not symmetrical, the outside leg almost always starts in front. So if you are in fifth position and your left hand was on the bar, your right leg would be your outside leg and it would be in front. When you're working at the bar, you will always do every exercise twice. That's because when you have the left hand on the bar, you're gonna be working mostly the right side. Once you're done with the exercise, you're gonna turn around. You're gonna put your right hand on the bar and then you mostly work the left side. The proper way to turn to the other side is first susu, sutanu towards the bar, and then prepare to start the second side. Now, it is ballet tradition to always start with the left hand on the bar. When the music starts playing, the first thing you're gonna hear is an introduction. Introduction, introduction, introduction. That's the time to lift your arms up and place your arm, your hand gently on the bar, and then start. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, comment. Let us know what you thought. Thank you.